In this video, you're going to look how to use Google Apps in your HWDSB account to create Google Sheets. When you log in using home.hwdsb.on.ca, you come up to this window. Normally, you click on the Hub and continue to your D2L course. Now, we're going to click on Google Apps and you'll come up to your Google Drive. Now, from here, you're going to click on New, you're going to click on Google Sheets. The first thing you want to do is name the file. So we're going to click up here in Untitled Spreadsheet and we're going to call it Sample Exponential Functions. Now, keep in mind a Google Sheet you don't need to save it by going File, Save, that won't have that option. It interactively changes it as you are creating the data. You can also share this with others, and we will be doing this later in the course, so that you can collaboratively work on a project together. But for now, we're just going to learn the basics. So, in column A1, we're going to click our mouse and we're going to type in the equation we want to graph. y equals 2 to the exponent x. Keep in mind that the variable x is our input variable and since it is an exponent of base with base 2, that makes it an exponential function. We're going to click in column x so we're going to click in column A and type X. We're going to click in column B and type Y. Now we like everything to look nice and neat, so we're going to highlight it and we're going to right align it. Okay. Now, we want to pick some random data for X. Since this is our input data, we can choose what to put in. Now, we're going to pick negative 2, negative 1, 0, one, two, three. This gives us the best points for us to use when we're analyzing the data. Now, in column B3, you're going to hit equals for a formula. You're going to type 2 to the exponent. And now, for the letter X, you're going to click on the number that you're going to substitute in for X, which would be negative 2. Once you have that done, you're going to press enter. Ha! Huh, did the work for us. How about that? No calculators. Now, click back on cell B3. You'll notice there's a little box here in the bottom right corner. Click that mouse button down and drag it down. Voila! There are your answers. Isn't that nifty neato? Now, let's make the graph. Highlight the two columns. Come over here to insert chart. We want y versus x. Now we have dots. We want a smooth line. So we're going to go to chart types and we're going to pick um, use column A as labels so we know that our numbers will go across the bottom. And row 2 is our header which is up here and we want the second one which is the smooth line. Now it took off our use column A as label check mark. We have to put that back on and there is our graph. Now we're going to hit insert. We're going to position it where we want it. Okay, I don't want Y versus X actually. I want to put a title so I'm going to click there and type um, sample exponential function and let's try that again I forgot to press enter there's always something with computers sample exponential functions press enter to apply fabulous and there we go I find this a little too wide I want to narrow it a little bit so I'm going to bring it in closer now, I'm going to click on the negative 1.
and I can have my point, I can have my point, I can have my point, and I can have my point. So I can verify with my data is correct. So you click on the point, you make sure you have the little view mode open, you have it looking pressed down, and then you can view your points. You can verify that these points match the points in the table of values. And we can actually click to have circles that sort of show us where we're looking. There's one more thing I wanted to show you. Okay, we can set our max and min values there. And basically when you're learning software, you want to just kind of explore the features that um, are available so that you can um, make things better and make it make it more your own and own it. Um, there was one thing that I thought we could do and that's uh, put little points here but if we advanced edit chart titles legends update okay I think that looks good and we don't have to save it. Now, once you're done your graph, you need to share it with me. So click on share, and you need to put in my email address, jgibbard at gmail dot, no, no, sorry, 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 um, hwdsb.on.ca, and you're going to give me editing rights so I can mark it for you, and then you're going to send it to me. If you were using a, a partner in the class, you would share it with them so that they're able to do that. Okay, we're done. See you in the next video.